Hey, this is Jim, KN4YCD, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. As you might have guessed from the intro, we're going to talk about the X6100. Now, I'm doing a couple of different things here. Uh, Ham Radio Dude had done some testing the other day to check output power on the radio. So we're going to do that today, as well as hook up the radio to the spectrum analyzer and take a look at the uh, output signal coming from the radio. Uh, first, we're going to play with some power readings and see what kind of things we're getting. And I'm going to narrate along as we go uh, so we, we have an idea of what's going on. And I'll try and collate everything into a little chart here at the end. So I don't want this to be super long. Okay. So we're covering we're covering from one to fifty four megahertz here. <clears throat> if you're in CW mode, you got to use the key or it doesn't work. Interestingly, it keys the radio, but it does not put out a CW signal because I still have the mic plugged in and the key. So let me lock this down. We're again we're at point one watts. And so I think I'll probably have to unkey to change bands. No. But I do have to change modes. So there's 60. And then here is 40. And again, I'm not seeing any harmonics at all. 30. looking good 20 meters also looking fine 17 uh, 15 uh, there we go 15 and so on and let me just jump up to um, 6 meters here and of course he's off the scale, so let's bump our stop frequency up to uh, 75 megahertz. So, <clears throat> actually let's bump that up a little farther. Let's go all the way to 100. That's just so we can get him in the screen where we can see him. And as you can see, that's looking pretty darn good. That's looking great. If I change our center frequency here, and let's go to 54 megahertz for our center frequency and that zooms us in a little bit but there you go it looks great looks absolutely great no spurious emissions in any way what's interesting to me guys is that the output power seems to be a bit sketchy and if you've been keeping up with ham radio dude and temporarily offline who have torn this radio apart literally in dude's case and done a lot of testing and playing with the radio, there are some deficiencies in this radio. I've been keeping up with them and I talk to them pretty regular. Um, I have not been involved in as much of the in-depth testing as they have by far. I've done a few things, very minor things. It's been their show and they've been doing a great job. I would have to say that were I a new ham looking to get into amateur radio, I would not recommend this radio to a new ham. There's a lot of bugs in the way the radio works. There's inconsistencies in the user interface. Uh, they've already had one firmware patch. The radio, I had my radio literally two weeks. Uh, no, a week before they came out with the first firmware patch. So I think the radio has a lot of potential. It is very hackable. And there's a community on the Toads Discord, link below in the description. If you're interested in joining in, we'd love to have you. Um, there's a community just really jumping up to look at analyzing and debugging the hardware, the firmware, the software layers of this device. But were I a new ham, I would not buy this radio. And I cannot recommend this to a new ham. And I cannot recommend this to someone who is not super technical and nerdy and likes to fiddle with equipment. I purchased the radio specifically um, 
you know, I kind of wish I hadn't at this point because I didn't really want to buy a project car or radio in this case. But uh, I'm going to roll with it. Um, it's got a lot of neat features. The screen is absolutely gorgeous. Let me uh, let me disconnect this and slide this back over on the camera so you can actually see it instead of me talking while you're looking at the at the uh, at the scope. So the the display is gorgeous, and I don't think the camera does it justice because of the glare from my shop lights. There's so much potential here but there's a lot of things to fix this is a fixer upper absolutely a fixer upper and uh, hopefully the community is going to respond and, and i'm hoping that we can get zygu involved or jegu however you say that and um, they might uh, answer some of our questions and and help us out with some some feature requests and upgrades so i don't know how that's all going to go the radio has been out a week two weeks depending on where you're at but anyway, I wanted to uh, put out this to kind of share with everybody some of the stuff I've found with it and to follow up on some of the work that Ham Radio Dude and uh, Temporarily Offline have done. If you're a new ham and you're looking to buy a radio, this is a do not buy. Absolutely go buy something else. Uh, possibly if you have the bank for it, um, I'd recommend something like an ICOM uh, 718 which is a 100 watt HF radio, minimal feature set, but it is a full 100 watt HF radio, or a Yaesu 891, which is a mobile form factor, but 100 watt radio, very full featured, um, solid radio, solid as a rock. Um, uh, it just kind of depends on how much money you have to spend. And if you can cut loose with around 900 to 1,000, $1,100 for your first HF radio, then Another recommendation or two would be a Yaesu FT991A or an ICOM 7300, both of which are outstanding radios and came from the factory fairly outstanding. Um, so there's that. Guys, that's all I really have for today. I hope you got something out of this and I, I hope I didn't drone on too long. <clears throat> um, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Make sure and give me a thumbs up if you would. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And please ring that bell so you know, so you are notified when I learn to speak. So you are notified when I publish new content. Thanks a lot, guys. 73.